off to a good start. Um, we had dinner last night at the Ocean Club, and now I'm headed to the Zuma's the day before my family, because there's clearly one today, and a lot of squalls. So I picked anchor, um, picked up anchor during a squall. Mako is not happy. <laughs> we just got poured on. Um, come here. Come here, baby. And as soon as we get out of this harbor and turn, I should have really good wind to sail. And that's what I was going for today. So. <laughs> and under my jacket. and I definitely feel like we're still sailing. We are anchored in 20 knot winds, 15 to 20 knots, based on my wind gen vibration. And um, definitely should have waited a day because if I'm going to motor, I might as well motor and <laughs> not this. But we're anchored, I took a long nap, I had a hot shower, and I'm just doing some editing, and oh, seagull just flew right over the boat. Um, and a super chill night. It is five in the morning, and we have had squall after squall. Anchor alarm just went off. And we are not the happiest people. I'm just kidding, we're happy. It's only 5.15, so not a bad time. But not a fan of me. It is still windy. Last night was not fun. It was worse than this last night, and um, my family and friend just pulled in, like, over there, and I'm probably going to move to them, take about 30 minutes, but I'm, like, the boat isn't even facing the wind half the time. I don't know if you can tell but I'm rolling side to side. The wind the past week is not doing what it is predicted. Welcome to summer. My GoPro completely fell. Today's update is that my phone is still 
not working. Like it kind of works. Oh. Yeah, it just doesn't work. It didn't really get wet, but kind of apparently. And I have an old phone for emergencies like this, or if I need my anchor alarm, my phone's almost dead, I'm low battery, whatever. But I had a brilliant idea to clean this mess up and put it up here. And my portable charger and my phone fell way back there, like down to the hole where there's fiberglass. And I have no idea how to get it because, yeah. I've been in this Anchorage for two nights. Parents and friends left yesterday and the wind is southeast. It was supposed to be west. Seven knots of wind. And I'm at least gonna pull anchor and get out there where the bank is so that way I can go at a snail's pace at least in the direction I need to go and if the wind isn't right then I'll drop anchor because I can do that anywhere on the bank and if it's great I'll keep going I need to get about 35 to 40 miles maybe a little further within two days which isn't far I mean it's not bad but given the state of this wind I need to start making progress and yesterday there was no wind at all we tried to go spear fishing. Um, I found a conch eating a sand dollar. Pretty cool. But it was not that great, so I'm gonna put the dinghy up. Water is gorgeous, as usual. It's actually pretty nice out here. Um, well, when the wind blows, it's kind of nice. Um, it's not too hot. Oh, and I don't know if you can see, but there is a sailboat way out there. Sail out. So that's a good sign. So I guess I'm gonna lift up this dinghy and get going. wonder what his little mind thinks. Just stares at the sails and watches them. He's completely not sure of him. We're going about four-ish knots, about eight knots of wind, tacked once, and the wind's gonna sailing about 30 degrees so um, the wind's supposed to keep shifting so hopefully I won't have to tack again and we'll see where I end up today. Mako! Hi! Hi! Hey baby! Storms are finally rolling in. For some reason, I love how thunderstorms look on the Xuma water. The engine is on, and I don't know, once I get around the sandbar, we're probably going to anchor for the night. We'll see. But if the storms are going to come, or I haven't gotten hit yet, but if the storms start to pick up, I'll probably drop anchor for a bit. Just dropped anchor for the night. Not the most ideal spot. But I won't be here for too long. Just to get some rest and probably head out around sunrise tomorrow. Turn the music off real quick. Um, have to brag. Just pulled an anchor. Um, this is a beautiful sight. We're sailing pretty well upwind. 
wind is eight, eight and a half, and we're going five and a half ish, five knots. I will take that. As long as my batteries can keep up today, and I don't have to steer, which again, not a big deal. I should make it within like four hours. This is awesome. Super comfy. The sun's actually out a little bit today and it feels great. Last night was bumpy, but not bad. I was in a cut. I was away from a cut, but it was silver. And the zoom as the current rips through every cut and it lasts a bit. So I was not always facing the whim. And I felt super comfy. We had a nice breeze. It was actually cold last night. And now we are flying. My parents actually ended up five miles south of me, so I could have pushed through a little bit yesterday, but it was straight in my face and I was done. But today is their 25th anniversary, and we're gonna be celebrating. I doubt I'm gonna see them today, unless they come to me, but I'm going to where they're gonna be tomorrow, and we're gonna be celebrating for three days or so. I'm gonna do dinner one night, and then we're all gonna head back to Nassau, and they're gonna go home, and I'm gonna continue. So, I'll try to keep you guys updated today. I can't get over. I'm not looking at the camera, but it's just so pretty out. The wind feels amazing. It's not too hot, not too cold. You even got to work out in. Mako's just typical. Mako! Hey, baby! Say hi! For some reason, I need to get it on film. He hates the sails. Even if they're not doing anything, he'll be inside and just watch them. Like he's scared they're gonna come out and attack him or something. Um, but he was doing that all night, just kept looking up to see if the sails were out. Um, but we're doing good. I've had a lot of downtime, so I'm, well, I can't really work too much when I'm sailing. Honestly, that's kind of a downfall of having one person on board, I guess, is that I can't multitask as easily. So I've just been reading a lot, honestly, and um, I want to get to anchor for good so I can really do a deep clean and go ahead and get ready for the charters and all that stuff that I have coming up in less in about a week now. Well, exactly a week. So, uh, and I will be traveling again one more full day during that. So it will be really nice to get all the laundry put away, clean up the rooms big time. They're not bad, but you know, charter worthy. And yeah. This is what our days have looked like. And we're stuck. As I was tying the bridle on, a little nurse shark came by. And so it feels good to be home. I actually haven't been here since January when the trip that my engine completely died on me. So it feels good to be home. Nurse sharks kind of like right there. Ish. Have some blue sky for now, but it looks like we could have some storms later on. But I'm so happy to be settled for up to five days here. So I'm super excited about that. Um, the next few days are 
They're supposed to be flat. Fix my bridle. That's why I always do it right the first time. But the next few days are supposed to have no wind and um, hopefully I, well, I'm going to do some diving. Hopefully people go with me. Okay, um, mom fail, I guess, cat mom fail, is I didn't buy a ton of litter because I just got like a re, like one that seals completely, like a tub, and I was going to refill it with regular sand, put baking soda in it, and use that for litter, but I have not done that yet, and we ran out of litter like two days ago, and I, like, now we are at this moment completely out and it's been like the worst timing to go get sand because it's been raining but it's been kind of sunny today so i'm gonna go and try to get at least some if it's super dry i'll get it all but if it's not at least a little bit but this is boat life <laughs> going to the beach to get litter for your cat Also, something unfortunate to um, admit, I have not brushed this hair, like, good, and could be a week now. Um, I guess that's what happens when I'm moving, like, every day, and I'm seeing no one but family and myself. But tonight, I'm going to take a wonderful ocean shower and spend a long time out here brushing my hair. I don't like to brush my hair in the boat because hair gets everywhere and you can't do it in the bathroom because then the filters get clogged and so I've kind of put it off. But like this rat's nest needs to disappear. And I haven't used a dinghy in like three or four days or five. So this engine's gonna be fun to start. And I need to fill it with fuel, which I also haven't done in a bit. There's a lot of things I need to do. Well, the sand was dry, so Mako will have litter, good litter again, starting tonight. Some things only take five minutes to do when I procrastinate them, and these are the things I'm going to knock out to make my list shorter. I have never had this happen before. What the heck? Get off. Seagulls are so annoying. Attempt number one to get this little monster to there without a harness or leash with how much he hates dinghy. Hey, uh-uh. Going well. I haven't even tied the line yet. Makeup, you're gonna see your first sharks. Parents have left to go fishing and look at this insane water. 
I just got a workout in and this is our daily traffic. There's boats everywhere. It's Pick Beach. And later I will go help them dock if they need it. And then we have some other family and friends coming in and we're gonna have a fun night in the marina and probably the next few nights in the marina just enjoying people and all of that. So happy to be here and the sun's finally out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. My solar panels are happy, batteries are happy and I'm just been working trying to get the boat in order. I have charters next week so it's time to get back to work. We found a tree. Yeah, we did. I didn't have the camera at first, but he was laying up there, just staring down at me, panting. Just the cutest little thing. Such a dog. And there it is. I can't say think this will become a normal thing, taking the cat to the beach. Maybe a different beach, but... Get him! Get him! Get him. Run, Forrest! <laughs> Get him! Come back this way! Hey, do a circle! <laughs> We are headed to my parents' 25th anniversary dinner after happy hour on Sol de la Mar. You ready? Yep. Where are we docking? Just right here. Do you have an here. open table for eight? We're looking for McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. What's your name, Monique? What are you guys doing? Throwing rocks into a well. <laughs> Why don't you climb down? See what treasure's down there. Is it water or liquor? You can only have backup with a rope. He leaves tomorrow. I'll leave tomorrow. We only have like a week and a half together. Go back to the mountains in a little bit. That's helping him get up at 7.30 in the morning. Not helping. <laughs> okay, the family stuff is kind of done. Last night was our big celebration. Um, we had a fun night. And... Sun is out today, finally. Batteries are a little happier, not too much. But it's also blowing 15 to 20 knots. So I just worked out, did a lot of paperwork, and now I'm about to figure out what's wrong with the wind gin. But the wind gin is working. It's gonna get loud out here. It's spinning and which it always has done. And down here. little light bulb will be like flashing if it's giving power to my batteries. All I did was again unplug a wire, plug it back in and it started working again. So I think it may be more of a wire, like a just the controller issue. And none of the buttons work on the controller anymore. Um, if anyone has any experience with this, 
going on. Like, it just randomly, the light bulb will just randomly stop blinking but it still shows my battery voltage. It still shows that wind is coming in. So if anyone knows anything about this or why it just randomly goes off, definitely interested to hear. Get them. Well, um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was almost my last time with my parents and stay tuned. For next week, you guys have asked for a day of sailing and next week you will get a day of sailing start to finish. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, supporting patrons. Thank you a little bit extra and I hope you all have a great weekend.